Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey, and welcome back to my legendary campaign with the Shimazu on Total War Shogun 2. So last time we left off, we had taken Higo. I think that's what happened last time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, since we're um, upgrading the castle now, and we're going to be making a Yari Joyard here so we can make our uh, Yari Cavalry, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Have four of those in this army, it's going to be a tremendous army. Um, over here, we just got our Matsuke back, who was uh, not executed, but um, arrested, whatever it's called. I'm going to put some points into overseeing towns for him, so he can start making me some good money. And dualist or repression in province. Well, since he's going to be sitting in towns making me money, I better have the extra repression. So I can actually use him for making me, uh, or for making people happy while he's making me money. Um, best town f is going to be Higo. Oh no. So we're just going to shove him in there, oh, we'll be there next turn, he's going to make loads and loads of money already. Um, we have a bit of money left, I'm not entirely sure what I was going to do with it. Uh, I recorded all three of the episodes yesterday, all three of the first episodes yesterday, I mean, and then these ones, or this one is the day after, obviously. Um, I do know I was going to move these guys over to Hyuga, um, and that is where they're still going. Oh. Um, and I think I want to probably put some more men in there just to make this a more formidable army as well. I could probably make it a similar army to this one. It'll be slightly worse because it, the units won't have the, um, or these units don't have the armor except for these two right here. Um, but that's not a big deal. And we could even replace these if we wanted to. But I don't know if I want to do that right now. We have 2400 bucks. Um, it'll take two more turns before this is done. This is very fertile soil, yeah. So if we want to upgrade this as fast as possible. So I think we could do that right now. Um, and then we're not making anything here right now. And we, can we, no, we cannot afford two of these, sadly. I mean, I could cancel something, but I'm not really interested in doing that. I mean, it's not as important. I'll just hold off on that for now, actually. Um, besides that, I can put this trait, sh or no, this is the uh, actual fighting ship. We'll put them in there as a defensive ship. And I really want to be able to get more trade posts as well. And honestly, this mine might be open. But I can't really check it right now because I've got Weko Pirates over here. It might be worth making some more uh, fighting ships just to be able to defend. Just some medium bunes or Boca Boyas even. Um, but I I don't know. Because uh, it, it would cost so much money to, to keep those up and it might not be worth it. Then again, we need something to defend our ships with at some point anyway. But right now we're making decent money, so I really don't want to waste that on um, on ships at the moment. Or at least not on upkeep, mostly. Uh, so my plan for now is to... Oh Jesus, this takes forever to get done. I guess because this is... Uh, yeah, it doesn't have an actual sword school here. But that's fine. Once we get the stronghold, it will improve a little bit as well, I believe. Um, and also I, I could probably upgrade these roads soon, which I want to do anyway because I want to upgrade this place as, as soon as possible because it's currently my most, uh, or my biggest money-making province. Um, so if I upgrade it more and more, uh, it'll just make me more and more money, especially with these uh, Matsukes in there. And I believe uh, Tsukushi is also a really good ma money-making province. And I don't actually know why. I mean, since we we've, here we've got um, horse breeders, which is good for wealth, but it's not amazing. Like a gold mine is obviously a lot better. But for some reason, Higo uh, Tsukushi are really good. And then you've got one here with a gold mine, Iwami, is really good as well. And then this province right here, Owari, doesn't have anything special. It's but it's a very good money making province. And uh, Izu obviously uh, gold mine, and up here Honma territory, Sado as well. We can actually see the uh, Oda are a little bit spread out here. They seem to own a lot of the provinces here and also uh, Ize. But then over here, there's they don't own either of these, but they do own this over here. Uh, they're actually looking pretty strong as it is right now. But I'm not too worried about that. It, at least the uh, Ikowiki is dead. So that's really all that matters to me. Although they are pretty strong, so it's a little bit worrisome. But we're not at war with them or anything, so I'm not really... Uh, Gonna go into that just yet. Anyway, I think for now my turn is done. I could make another Matsuke, and actually I'm inclined to do that since we have a little bit of money left. 
And next turn, I think I'll make those two other samurai, which this will be enough money for. So yeah, I'm gonna make another Matsuke. That's definitely gonna be useful. I mean, kind of some clan, the Oda, the Besho, and my agent that's been recruited. All right, cool. Let's end turn. Hopefully that Otomo monks there moves away. Oh, the Oda seems to have just taken that. So I guess it was open for the taking just now. All right, he moved away, that's great. Hopefully the Otomo will fight them. Then again, I don't want the Otomo to take that because then I'll never be able to take it back unless I kill them, which actually is gonna happen, so it's not too bad. All right, so they just got, oh God, that's not good. Oh, wow. <laughs> My income just got reduced by uh, a metric fuck ton. Uh, inspiring master minus 50 percent to construction times in this province and construction complete right so our, our yeah our money is down by a lot we need to get rid of these pirates there's no way around it i can't see any of their ships sadly i'm gonna make a boca boy yeah, we've got a medium bune here which i will move over there as well once that one is made i don't know what they've got in here it could be anything really uh, one way to fix our income for now is put this guy in here on 257 Now on 668 So that like I said that really makes a massive difference uh, This Matsuke is going to just go into Satsuma for now since it's my second best money-making province And the more Matsuke you put in a town the less it becomes sort of like putting trade more trade ships on the trade node So I'll just put him in here for now. This will increase it by a few uh, doesn't not really anything much I'm like 80 or something um, these guys are gonna keep going to Hyuga and yeah making a ship here I'll make some more next turn I want like four or something and then I guess I will make some f sort of uh, force to deal with anything like this because I, I don't know what this is it's, it's most well the best case scenario for them would be three medium bunes, but then if I make uh, like three of my ships, then I should be able to face them, um, or four ships at least. Um, so yeah, it, it, this is going to be annoying for a few turns. But honestly, these guys may actually go over there and get rid of them. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I mean, they don't—they're not inclined to help me, but they are—they always go for pirates either way, so they may actually help me out there. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of money left, obviously. One more turn until this is done. So I kind of wanted this this money here. So it really would be nice if they uh, do get rid of those pirates. Because then I can start making the Yari Joy Yard. And then we can start making those guys. The Yari uh, Cavalry. Anyway, for now, we have four more turns to the Way of the Sword. That's good. Um, and then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going, go going to go for. I could go for Chernindo. Especially since, yeah, the trade income, which w would be really good since we are um, making lots of money off trade right now. Um, so yeah, I may go for that. Or I may just continue going into the sword tree. We'd have to go form first, which I'm not really interested in. Although it does give us the option to make the Bojutsu Master Dojo, and since we already can make horses, it's not actually a bad thing. So maybe I will do that. We'll, um, we'll decide later. First, please, Otomo, help me out here. Get rid of those. Oh, Takeda. That's Omo. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what I was thinking they would do. Oh. They just took that trade note as well, I think. The Odars looking. Oh, they just lost the province. I think they took what? that one from the Hatakiyama, but then they lost another one. This small ship carries Archer. Okay, cool. Let me just see that. Uh, we got a stronghold. Lovely. So, yeah, now we're making big money again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I am going to make a few more ships just so I've got somewhat of a navy. Then again, if I come up against anything like this, there's no point. But I, I think I'll still do it. They don't cost that much. These medium bunes cost 99 upkeep. It's my best port here, isn't it? Yeah, I've only got two actually. So yeah, I'll make some medium bunes. And uh, actually I think I'll make one trade ship first because then I'll take this guy out and put the other one in the trade ship and then just have these guys linger around as a defense i really want to just fix these ships up just because they look annoying but obviously i can't take off this entire navy to fix them all up um so screw that um yeah i'm gonna move this guy over here 
for now. And then we'll take this guy off and put him on there. There we go. Cloud Encounter, Takeda. Uh, I don't know how the hell that just happened, but okay. Uh, can't trade with anyone. Port is full capacity, etc. We can fix that by upgrading this, which actually might be worth doing. However, question is, what is more important? Well, most important for me right now is this CRI Joyard. That leaves us with 1,689 bucks, which is not enough to build this. So, it, yeah, we can, we'll make that money in one turn, so we can make whatever we want. Post roads and stations is good. Already have them here. Uh, I could upgrade, oh yeah, I can upgrade this to better port. I'm probably not going to go for any Nanman's raids, as I said before, because there's no point anymore. And the military port actually may help me out with the Sengoku Bunes. It does, however, screw me over a little bit on trade routes and uh, capacity and stuff. Which is a bit sad, but also town growth is amazing from this 10 per turn. I'm going to improve the roads here just so we can get that um, town growth going as well. And that leaves me with little money left. We have an agent in there. He's going to level up very slowly. That's fine. And we've got this guy in here. I wonder how far along he is actually. Not very. That's fine. Um, yeah, and then my army is still replenishing. Like I said, it's going to go a lot faster now. It's going to be three turns until every everyone is done. But it, it's going to take uh, one turn for the Yard Yard. That's actually surprisingly good. So next turn, I'm probably going to devote to making two Yari cavalry. And then um, another two the turn after. So the trading port's going to have to wait a little bit. But then that army is basically done. Except for I'll, I'll, I want to make some uh, better bows and some better yari -ish as well. But I, was, I think I said the Yari uh, samurai I would want to make here anyway. For the extra armor. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to stick to the Ashigaru for a while, as they're currently exactly what I need. And plus they're way cheaper anyway. Uh, yeah, can't do any trade. When is this kid going to come of age, man? He's 17. His little, like, brother is going to come of age sooner than him. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! Oh, forgot to move them. That's fine. They're just standing outside anyway. Oh, here we can see the Takeda now. They're going pretty strong as well, but they usually do go strong, I mean, so that's fine. That's just uh, the way it is. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. That's just the way it is. And lots and lots of ships, which is my one negative thing about this game, or my major negative thing about this game is this damn navy. I hate it. I don't like it. Alright, so we made our Yari Joy Yard and a trade ship. So now, Yari Cavalry. Two of them, and the next turn we'll make two more. Oh yeah, of course, so it's actually going to take eight turns before they're done. I did not think about that. Although I guess if we were to, you know, if we upgraded the fortress, it would go faster. But that's not going to happen. Uh, right, so you need to go over there. Get in there next turn. And now we're gonna make some more actual fighting ships because this trade note's full and there's no way we're gonna get this one here unless we kill whoever is in it. I could ha I could have a look with these. I don't know who the Ochi four ships, I don't know if they mean any harm. But I I just wanna check this out really. Then again I could do that with the ship that I'm making, yeah, I'll just keep these guys around here. Alright, we'll make a uh the Boca Boya. Yeah. I'm thinking actually, they're prob these probably more a lot, a lot more uh, efficient money-wise. Then again, no, screw. It. I just want, uh, yeah, a one-turn ship just so I can go over there quickly. Kalina County Ouchi. Do you want to trade Ouchi? I guess you want to maybe, but I can't because I don't have enough space to trade with you. Uh, actually, since these guys take two turns to make, and I can't actually make more. I will spend my money differently. Um, I don't know what on though. I can upgrade town or roads here, roads here, or make this a stronghold, which I'd want. I would want to do that eventually anyway. 
but there's nothing really that I want to make here right now, except for possibly the yard jury or but like I said, it's not that important. And the bow samurai are going to be made in Busan, since we've got the craft works there, so I um, don't need that here. And besides that, I think the only thing I would want is an encampment, but in order to get the encampment, we need to get down to heaven and earth, which is going to take 11 turns to do. So I don't think that's any use for me right now. Although the encampment is definitely on my list. I think actually that may be the next thing I'm going to do instead of going down here. I'm going to go to heaven and earth. Gives me an extra plus one defense as well. And being able to build the encampment is extremely good. So yeah, that's definitely what I'll do after. Um, right, but yeah, that still leaves me with the money. I can actually improve this to a market, but I don't really care about the wealth here since it's not a very wealthy town at all. However, here it might be worth it, because if I make the market here, and then or rice exchange there, and move this agent in there, it'll actually be better money. But then again, I would need the roads for that as well. So let's start with the roads. It's a more sensible building to make anyway. Okay, and this looks completely empty. I do want to take this soon, because it's constantly just spreading this stupid uh, Christianity influence. Wow, it's like really bad right now. If I move out right now, my town would be minus three happiness. Uh, I don't really want to declare war on them though, because I don't know what they've got there, and my big army is here. If I if I attack this, I, I would have to attack right here as well. Fourteen. Actually, I can move out here with only one. Although it's going to be minus six, but I mean, the longer I wait, the more unhappiness is going to be. So, and I can have this agent go over somewhere as well to keep them happy. Then again, if I do declare war on them, there is a big big ol' Otomo navy around here somewhere, which is gonna destroy this, so that's another thing I need to think about. I think for now we're just gonna hold off. There's no need to rush this. Uh, I can I can maintain happiness for now. I mean, it would be nice if I had like a, a Buddhist temple, but I don't really have any place where I could put that. I could put it here, but I'd better not. I mean, on the other hand, why not? Uh, I can already make it as well. Maybe worth it. And then I got a monk as well, and I can start spreading influence there. Yeah, I think I'll do that. This market here, this is not a very good money making place anyway, so yeah, let's let's do that. We don't even have the roads here, so screw it. Um also farms. I haven't upgraded any of them yet except for this one right here. Okay, that's uh end turn. Another downside of all this is that you always get to see all the navy shit that no one cares about. But we are gonna need two or three navies. What the hell? Did they just get- oh no, that was a different one. They are in attrition there, that's good. But yeah, that's the only thing I'm a little bit worried right now. If I- if they didn't have- if I didn't know they had such a big navy, I probably would have attacked them. Ooh, this is good. Uh, I can either get Prosperity, which is plus 10 per turn to town growth across all provinces, so that's a plus 40 total. Or plus 25% wealth generated by farms across all provinces for 4 turns. This is good for long run, this is good for quick money. Um, however, this is always a lot better if you've already got a lot of towns, because currently I only get 40 for 4 towns. However, since Higo is one of them, I may do it anyway, since Higo is... Uh, going to be my main ma money making province anyway so I may as well speed that process up so I will go for that plus I'm making plenty of money right now and as it is a Mako encountered and a ship has been built I highly doubt this is open but we'll have a look oh my god it is okay well I got that one now uh, you can you reach this you may no, he didn't. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, so we got two trade nodes now, so I'm just gonna spam out some trade shit. Can I actually make them? No, I can't make them here because this is a trade port, which I may make it now. Since, yeah, this is still one turn away from being done. Is there anything else I want to build? I don't think so. I think this is actually one of the things I want to get built most, except for the Buddhist temple here. Um, yeah, we'll hold off on this for one turn. Well, then again, Buddhist temple here. I guess I can spend the other, the rest of the money somewhere else. 
uh, improving the market here. Yeah, I was talking about that before, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. I think that is actually what I'm going to do. All right, and that spends the money efficiently as well. So, no, yeah, we've only got two ships here. This one is going to merge up with that one soon, but I, was, I just wanted to take this. Man, I'm really surprised this one is open. But that's really good for me. Although the downside is, well, it's not really a massive downside. It's just that this one and that one are the same thing. They're both incense. And um, I think this one is incense here as well. No, this one is an incense. This one's cotton. Maybe this one up here is incense. No, it's iron. Well, I guess I was wrong on every single thing. But anyway, yeah, war horses, cotton, raw silk, and iron. And then these two happen to be the same ones. But that, I mean, it's still good, obviously. It's just, it would have been better if we got something else. Especially the iron, which we need. Um, but it's all the way up there. And raw silk is obviously worth a lot of money as well. But maybe we'll still be able to take this. It's a highly likely that these ones are taken by people that are close to me. Which uh, the closest right now is the Otomo. Uh, and if they do have that one, then obviously we're going to go to war with them sometime. And then we'll be able to take that. I can also actually just take a ship over there. And see if they've got anything there. Just take the shit ship. And we will lose a little bit of income, but... Yeah, there is someone on there, but it is the Satake. Alright. That's fine. We'll just come back here. Um, right, so yeah, now I've got nine ships, including that one here. So I, I do want to get ten at then, uh, there at some point, but these are a little bit more important right now. Um, yeah, so I just, I'll have all the new ships go here for now. I really want to get this one on there, just to see how much we'll make from that new one. The new trading node. Um, right, so next turn... We'll 944 bucks are going to go to Yari Cavalry. We are going to lose 234 each turn for every one that we make. So we're going to be down about a thousand uh, when we've got all four of them. But by that time we should have a lot more money again from all these trade ships and that should be good. I do also want to still make these katanas because I want to make the second army start building on it anyway. Make it similar to what this one is currently without the cavalry. Because the cavalry is too expensive to have in both armies currently. I could make some light, or, uh, light cav for that, but that'll be later. Ooh. Aw. Oh. They took it right away, sadly. <laughs> it would have been great if they, was, they weren't able to get on it or something. And I could have just taken it. That would have been so amazing. Unless the Atomar are going to take care of that. That's the Hojo as well. Like, who the fuck? Hojo. What are you doing over here? Like, they're probably going to die soon, actually. Yeah, I mean, I might actually leave this ship around here, because the Hojo Yari? may die soon. Cavalry. Oh, Yari Cavalry. Uh, and we've got our, um... I didn't even think about that. Oh, nice. And Art Mastered. Yes, we are going for this. Alright, let's see which one is that. I want to see if it's actually... Okay, it is... Yeah, it is the 17-year-old. Alright. Uh, we're going to give you the commission for... Uh... You have fine no yeah you have finance so you get supply yeah let's do it all right and he uh, is actually gonna yeah see this guy starts without the armor and it's pretty sad all right but you get to go with the general here together gonna move over to this army and this is gonna be a second army with two generals. He's gonna go with his older brother. And it's all gonna be good. Where you recruited? Sweet. Trade ship built. Yes. Alright, let's see. How much money is this gonna make me? 1608. 1727. Boom. The second one is gonna get on there right away as well. 1727. 1816. Oh, this is so good. All the money that I lost just now. I just cleaned it back. Hojo encounter. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep my uh, my ship right here. And uh, if they get knocked off or they die, I might be the first to get on there. De like, it, it depends. Um, let's see. So one unit or one bit of my money is going to go to that. And that actually leaves me with very little money to do anything. could make another katana. I only need one more. No, I need three more katana. Like, it may not even be worth keeping this one just because it doesn't have the extra armor, but it also would be sad throwing him away. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll keep him for now. Just as a strengthening this army. I don't know. It would waste my money. Ah. If I keep him, I'll keep him until he dies. I think. 
if I just and otherwise I will just destroy him now but I think I'll keep him okay so we have got a thousand bucks with those thousand bucks I think I'm gonna make uh, two of these folks two of them I say wait was I gonna make no I wasn't gonna make any more of those I was going to make two of these folks um, and then nothing else is needed to be done. We're making one unit there. Oh yeah, we wanted to upgrade this. Oh, I guess we can do that next turn. Yeah, should be ha should have enough money unless something happens. Uh, these ships. Oh yeah, actually, you can merge up together right now. May as well. Uh, diplomacy, anything? Nope. We encountered a lot of uh, clans now. We can actually see most of the map now. There's a few spaces here and a few around here. We can see most of the map now. We're actually one of the smaller clans, to be honest, but it's not bad since by the time we get this entire island, we'll be quite big. And then, um, obviously, we're not facing any of those bigger ones. The biggest one that's close to me is the Amako. But there's two buffers between in the Ochi and the Otomo. I just gotta hope that the Amako aren't more of the Ochi and like come over to me too quickly. Alright, they just they left one ship on there sadly. Otomo moved an army in there. Oh wow, the Hojo are not gonna die, look at that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was to be expected, but oh well. Alright, we made enough money for upgrading this. Question is, are we gonna do it? The best show are dead. Construction complete, our Buddhist temple. Yeah, I wanna make a monk, but I think this will take priority right now. Well, I should get done and the trade ships built. So you're gonna get on there. Ha ha. Um, I'm gonna make another trade ship. Priorities. You go over there. Um. And then make this, just so we get more trade going. Next turn we'll again make one of these. Um, these two dudes are done. Were they done this turn? Yeah, okay. So you go over to Asumi and then move through to Higa. All right, and then that's actually a pretty decent army. I, I, I would like one more katana at least, so then we've got four, four, four of each unit plus two generals, which is good enough against uh, these armies. I have no idea what they've got. Like, they could have gun units since they are a Christian faction, but I have no idea. Um, so look at you. All right, you're getting there, hopefully nearly. Sadly, these guys took that right away, but there was no, I, I didn't expect them not to do that. Uh, but I'm gonna leave him around there. I, I mean, I could even move him up there just to see if there's anyone up there currently. I don't know if I take attrition there. If I do, this ship may die. Uh, do anyway. Yeah, we're fine here. Alright. Just uh, gonna move him between places just to see what they've got. Man, you told me I've got a lot of ships. If they do attack me in... Navy, I'll be completely screwed here, which is going to be a big problem. So I'd have to, I have to blitz, blitzkrieg them, kill them very quickly. I can take, they've got three provinces left, four provinces left even. I can take this one, that one, and possibly that one in one turn, and then if I take that one right away as well, everything will die. So I, I may suffer from um, some rebellions, but the clan will die before then, and all the ships will go away. Because I can get to this one in one turn, and then I may even be able to get to that one in the same turn. And if I'm not, I can get to this one, and then that one the turn after. So in two turns, I should be able to take care of the Otomo, if I can win all the battles, which I think I can. But obviously I'm going to wait until I've got all the Yari Cavalry before I start doing that. There's no need to try anything currently. And then the second army can move on to this one, and then they can actually help out in Buzan as well. So I can, I can probably Blitzkrieg them down. To use a popular... Reference or whatever. Word. Word! But you never know that maybe they'll decide to declare war on me, but I highly doubt it since they're not in a very good position uh, against me, anyway. 
There's that little Hatakiyama ship. I wonder if it's the same one. I doubt it, since why the hell would they have left their thingy? Oh god, what's this? Plus one food loss to disaster. Alright, I can deal with that. Clan destroyed the Satake. Ooh, that's... Actually, no, that's... Okay, well... I think they, they were the ones up here. But I can't reach it anymore. And there may be someone else on there already. Be very sad if there's no one on there right now, but we'll check this one out. Oh, actually, there's already someone on there. Hojo. Yeah, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna move the, back to this one. We can get there in two turns, and there may not be someone on there. I think there will be, but we never know. Check it out. Oh, that's a stupid... Well, they've got some trade ships in there, and I've got some defenses, so it should be alright. Uh, a trade ship. Get your ass on there. Alright, and did we make... Yes, we did, so let's make another one. Two more, so four more turns, and that will be done. These guys get in here. You get in there. I could make my other katana samurai right now as well. And then I've got 444, like I said, which is what I wanted. Doesn't mean I can't make a trade ship right now, I think. Yeah, 118, that's pretty sad. Look at this army, it's so good. Um, I'm actually going to use him. Oh no. I have a quick exploration. Right, there's nothing in there. I want to be able to move back again. He can move quite far. I don't think he'll be able to get in range to see what's going on over there, though. While still being able to go back. Mm, maybe. I don't really want to risk it, though. Let's go spot back, because he, he's making me too much money to risk that. Oh my god, this entire town is 1,320 currently. Ridiculous. Once he upgrades more and more, he, this guy is going to be an absolute boss. I remember doing the same exact tactic when I was playing as the Atoma in my co -op campaign with Ptolemy. Ptolemaeus. Warehouses here as well. A military port. Oh, they've got a military port here. That's great. That sword's cool. It's going to go away. But this is a good province as well. Oh, there's already got 2,800. Oh wow, there's actually a really good province as well for money making. Maybe it was Heezen instead of Tuchui. I'm not sure. Tsukushi, whatever. Yeah, maybe it was Heezen. I don't remember. I know it was a few provinces around here anyway that made tons of money with... And Metsuka's in there. Metsuka! Uh, three... Right, yeah, okay. So one more katana, and then it'll be 444, four, four, and that'll be formidable enough. I would like two more, but I don't... Because it, it would be risking... Um, risky. If I if I lose this, I would go bankrupt in no time. Actually, we can check that out. Let's have a quick look. Actually, no, I don't. I don't really want to do that. Oh wait, I can see. Yeah, twenty four hundred. So yeah, if we get off there, let's do it. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Huh. It's not bad at all. I'm not sure what the hell happens. Oh my god, 4200. If this one gets blocked, yeah, that's... Oh shit, actually, that's what maybe they're going to do. But I can't move my ships over there either. Got a Boca Boy on here. Eh, that's... Uh, yeah, if they block this, I would be bankrupt right away. I don't know what to do about that. I could put these two... And that other ship here, but then I leave them completely unprotected. Damn it. Stupid Waco pirates. Well, let's just hope that they don't do that. And if they do, I have to actually re respond. I can get all of these guys over there in one turn. And these guys close enough for reinforcements as well. So, yeah. It may cost me one honor by going bankrupt though. I could take precautions by cancelling the building of all the units, but I don't think it's worth it. And like an extra building as well, just to be sure. But no, nah, let's not do it. Um, right, this one though. Oh, I guess I moved him this turn? Oh, I thought that was last turn. All right. Um, okay. Let's hope they don't block my uh, trade. That would be pretty terrible. Just, just block, the, like go on the actual trade route. That will be fine. Then you just take a few hundred off it. I'm gonna leave it that. Oh wow, the Hojo is going strong there. <laughs> Talking about chasing people off over there. But yeah, the Hojo are looking quite strong. They just divided the Takeda. 
Here they come, pirates. They didn't block me, and it doesn't seem like I'm good. Matsuka increased their rank, perfect. Nice, we made that, so we're not going for heaven and earth. And we got improved the rate at which all arts are mastered. Oh, that's really good. For eight turns, so this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna be done in six turns. Whoop de doo, that's really good. Alright, the wake up, I don't know where they went, but they're not here anymore. Uh, you leveled up. You're gonna get two points in overseeing towns. And please, more overseeing towns. Nope. Overseeing towns. Thank you very much. 1851. Yeah, wealth here is best. So, shove them in there. And then 1673, current income. 1885. Whoop de doo. All right, you get in there. Oh god, you're gonna be like that again. One of you go in there. Um, right. So one more turn for that one, and then that one next turn. Should I start making this uh, six turns from now? We'll be able to make the encampment. Uh, I have the money now, though, which is why it might be uh, worth spending it. Need to upgrade the roads here as well, though. Actually, that's not a bad idea since I do need to move through here constantly. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure we'll have, we'll have enough money in three turns anyway. And let's uh, let's actually queue up a few trade ships because they they're my main priority right now anyway. I want um, a few more. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ah, trade ship. Please tell me there's no one there. Nope, the Hojo is still there. So I guess they overtake that again. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll still hang around. This this little trade ship. These are making me enough money to make it worth it. Just hanging around, seeing what's going on. Just the information is worth that little fifty nine upkeep. You know, it's good enough. Um, right, and turn. Yes. Yep. And turn. Oh, I. Yeah, okay, next turn I'll make a monk. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you can block it all. I'm not actually gonna go for you, I'm just sitting around. If you happen to die, then I'll take it over, you know? No big deal. The Amaka, or whatever they're called, seem to be taking over those territories now, so... Oh, I'm getting attacked. Is the Ojo gonna help me? They are. Although my ship may die. There's a good chance it will. Meh. Nope. We, uh, we didn't die. We didn't capture anyone either, no. We killed two ships. He's got no men on it left. Wait, I wonder if he's actually gonna die then. I guess not. I just, there's no there's no one operating that ship, but it's not dead. <laughs> oh no, mine actually has someone. Maybe it was his that died. Oh, wouldn't it have been great if this one died and I would have just gone on there? Oh man, that would have been pretty sad. Great clan destroyed. Who the hell could that be? Uh, Hattori? Yeah. Construction rights. That's good money. Quartermaster report made those. And ship build. Alright, I'm just gonna leave him around there again. Uh, one more unit. Also, I can improve this. But uh, there's no need for me to do that. Like, why now would I do that? You go in there. Uh, you. Move your ass over to Hyuga. And this is one turn away from being done. You, nope. You, get in there. 4.6k money making off that, it's ridiculous. Alright, so next turn we may be able to trade with someone else again, which will be great because we can make lots and lots of money off our trade. Alright, so two turns from now, we're going to Blitzkrieg, which will be in uh, currently winter, so it'll be in spring. No, in summer, sorry. So summer will be taking Heisen and maybe Tsukushi, and winter will be able to take Tsukushi and be Buzen with a little bit of luck. And we'll be able to take this one in the same. Um, right, we do have the unhappiness. Currently 9, we have 13, so if we do move out, we can exempt him from taxes. However, that's not going to last. We do have another unit coming, but that doesn't make a difference. We are going to have to make that monk now, for sure.
I'm not even gonna check if I need money for anything else because this is a priority. Um, does that <clears throat> fix that? No, it does not. Holy shit, plus 4.5. Have they got like a really good church there or something? Oh, they've got a freaking hospital there. Damn. Should have had a ninja sabotaging that shit constantly, but whatever. Uh, at least we're sort of slowing it down a little bit, I think. We're going down... Man, we're still going down quite fast, really. Minus two and a half. <clears throat> How about Higo? Probably the same. Yeah, although it's currently 15 happiness because of my um, my character that's in there. 1,325 bucks. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I want to do? I really do want to make two more of these, but it's not necessary. I will make them soon, but not right now. Next turn, I may upgrade this because we're... Yeah, and next turn will be four turns away from this, so then it'll take three turns to make this. And uh, I'll have one spare turn to get her the money for an encampment. And then after we've got the encampment, we will upgrade it to the armor or whatever it's called, and then we'll get golden armor here, and it'll be glorious. Alright, one more turn until we get more trade as well. Technically, if someone wants to trade with me, of course. My third son may come of age pretty soon, he's 16 years old right now. Awesome! Things are looking pretty good. Ooh. Hojo, what are you doing? Oh, the Hojo just lost two provinces. One down here and one there to the Hatagayama. Oh, there's some pirates again. Construction complete and ship build. Alright, first the ship. You. Move over here. Alright, who wants trade? I've got lovely, lovely trade. 532, 389, 276, 547, uh, 272, and 519. Alright, Oda would make the most money, and they're quite far away, so I don't help. Well, I helped them out, but. Wow. Nice. You're willing to pay me for it, aren't you? Maybe not. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good deal we're getting here. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll just trade. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, everyone wants to trade with me right now, since I I have the goods, you know. I'm making that sweet money. Uh, right, so I was going to upgrade this this turn, I think. Oh, I could upgrade this as well. No Dachi Samurai. Not really interested in them right now. Although I may make some of them at some point. Um... Yeah, I may, I may even go as... F ah, I don't think I will. I'm thinking maybe I'll take away these guys and make four Nodachi instead, but then I, I've got the cavalry for flanking. Four cavalry is plenty. Uh, Alright, so you're gonna sit in the town. I mean, I, you could do shit here, but small chances. Wait, what was that? It's out of revolt, right. It's actually a pretty decent percentage, to be honest. And there's just a captain in there. Alright. Um... 2200 bucks what is important I think this next turn for sure question is do I want to do it now or next turn I could upgrade a farm but I could also do that next turn I'd rather have this upgraded um, yeah alright let's do that and then these guys will get there one turn late that's fine though um, Am I gonna attack them this turn though is the question. Like the the thing is should I start moving up to the border? <sighs> because if I move up to the border I can get there in one turn and we were planning on attacking them next turn. It's so risky, like there's so many boats that they've got, but they're they're just gonna get more and more boats. There's no need there's no reason not to attack them, really. We got a trade ship here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna move to the border. It means I have to exempt from taxes for a while. I'm gonna take the entire army. Or leave three units behind, so I don't have to exempt taxes. This town is making me bug all money though, is it? 220, yeah, let's fuck all. Let's move out the entire army. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get there next turn. So we're gonna declare war on them in one turn and attack them in one turn. And I could actually move this army up there as well. I would miss out on one cavalry unit, but I can send them afterwards. 15, yeah, I can get over there without any unhappiness for now. That's probably going to change soon enough. So let's do exactly that. Let's move over to the border. 
And then next turn we'll declare war on them and go over there. Alright, let's make sure they don't actually have anything in. He's in. Come on, just get that vision. There you go. I'm back in town. Alright, perfect. Blitzkrieg is going to initiate next turn. We're going to definitely leave rebellions behind. There's no question about that. But uh, I think it'll be good enough. Yeah, this town is going to rebel. Well, I know it's not because I can exempt them, but it's not going to be happy. Uh, Alright. I think that's going to be that. There's not much more I want to do. I already initiated trade with whatever, whoever I wanted to. Four more turns for that. Three more turns for the stronghold, then the encampment, then armor, etc. It's going to be really good. That golden armor is going to be ridiculous. I right, got vision on the Oda. We can see they've got like at least two full stack armies. That one is a five star general as well. That's pretty dangerous. But luckily we don't have to face them for a long, long time. I have not actually checked if the Oda have any friends. Uh, sorry, the Oda, the uh, Otomo have any friends. That could be very bad. Have not thought about that at all. Wake up, pirates! What are you doing? Oh, come on! Oh, that's actually. Yeah. Um, I hope I just don't die from attrition here. They actually took <laughs> that leave open for me now. They're obviously gonna send me off right away again, but that's pretty interesting actually. I'm gonna get on there. Actually, I can't get on there because that stupid pirate's in the way. Uh, that's still interesting though. Because he's obviously not on it anymore either. I'm gonna just go over here ish. Just so we're not in attrition, and then I can still flee if I have to. Alright. Now, important turn. You are gonna go in here, but I don't think I'm gonna keep you in there. I think I'm just gonna send them through. It doesn't make a difference for happiness either way. So you're gonna move through, but you're not gonna get the, to the army just yet. That's fine. Warriors recruited. Army is done. Trade ships. Alright, both of those move in here. How full is this one now, anyway? Uh, seven, right, eight. That's good. And we're making one more here, I believe. No, we're not. Eight, we've got eight here as well. I think I'm gonna start making another um, medium bunei. So then we've got one medium bunei, one bokeboya here, the same one bokeboya and one medium bunei. And then we've got that one spare trade ship which is just floating around, giving vision everywhere for me. All right, the moment of truth. Out of resolve time. I think. Ah, oh, this is scary. This is gonna change everything. Man, I need to get there. All right, he's in first target. Declare war. Yes, they don't have any allies. They don't have anything in Tsukushi either. All right, I could fight it, and it would not break the the wall. But they're gonna rebel. Like they're gonna be unhappy anyway. So I will. Gonna, I'm just gonna take this. I'll resolve it. Ooh, I can even make the Shoni my vassal. Get another honor for it. But no. Alright, we'll peacefully occupy that. Yay, we're noted. Province captured. We can. Can we? Ah, uh, I think we may not be able to read Tsukushi. Alright, we're gonna fix this up. For happiness. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna be happy enough. It's a lot of Christianity as well. I'm gonna get rid of this. And I'm going to. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move this. Oh wow, actually, I could technically. Oh, it's a stronghold. Damn it, that changes things. I was gonna say I could technically attack it with my generals, well, with my five cavalry units, plus this unit, six cavalry units. I mean, I could probably take it, but I don't know if it's worth it. I could also move it, like if it was actually right here where it says I could move, then I may be in reinforce. Yeah, in reinforcement range. But I don't think I will be if I just uh, go as close as I can, but either way... Oh man, this town is good money by the way, damn. So now the question is, should I move out to the to as close as I can get? Or not? There's an a navy there. I think I will. It means I won't get money for a turn extra. So I'll have to exempt it next turn rather than the turn after. If I attack it right now, are they in range? 
Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, I I could do it with the five cover unit or six cover units, but I don't think I will. It's so close, but I I'm pretty sure I will be able to get to Buzen in the next turn as well. So I think it is going to be a two-turn blitzkrieg. We're going to take Bungo now. I'm going to also auto resolve this. We're going to peacefully occupy this place. And we're going to get rid of that right away. And we're going to get rid of that right away. As sad as it is to, to get rid of a Nanmai quarter since it goes all the way back to a first level, it's still worth it. It does mean I can get more trade going right now. Ah, that's really tempting actually. Just keep this. It's minus three Christianity. Oh wow, no, it spreads Christianity to neighboring provinces as well. Now I have to get rid of it, sadly. I'm gonna keep the market. Um, improve the roads. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the money that I have right now. Um, you guys okay? Because I exempted it. He he goes gonna stay all right for now. And once. Uh, I've taken care of all the stupid hospitals and shit. They've got one here as well, though, sadly. But once I've taken care of all of that, it's going to be fixed there. And this is average soil what I've got here. Very fertile soil. And this is protected by me, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade that one. Or no, actually, no. I'll get the roads and... Actually, no, I can only upgrade one road. So in that case, I'll do this. And then next turn, I'll upgrade roads in both places. Alright, sounds good. So yeah, not as fortunate as, as I thought it might be. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get the Tsukushi and Buzan in the same turn, and then I know they... Well, I'm pretty sure they don't have anything else. They have two provinces, yeah. I'm actually going to try and get trade with someone else as well. I'll, like, it'll stop after one turn, but I can get trade with two people right now. I'm, I don't know how it works, actually. Speak, and do not mumble. Trying to pay me for it? Honesty and clarity Ooh. march forwards together in negotiations. Holy shit. If anything, I can get, like, a bunch of money straight up. Holy shit. See, my trade is really valuable to people. This is what I was thinking before. 5,000? Are you kidding me? 5,000? Holy shit. 6,000? Please? I mean, f oh my, what the fuck is going on? Let's do it like this. This is way faster. 7,000? What the fuck? How much money have these guys got? 10k? Holy shit, what is going on? 20k? I mean, I might as well try. Okay, not 20k. 15k? Even if I don't get the trade, I'll, I'll get at least 10k. 12 and a half k. Go on. Nope. Is that, is that even a thing? 11k? Yes, it is a thing to go over 10k. Uh, 12k. 12k, alright, sounds good to me. Thanks. I'll take it. So even if I don't get the actual money from this one turn, I'll still get 12k up front. And the Takeda, they might be uh, willing to pay me a decent amount of money as well. Trade? Please, yes. speak honestly, and I will give you uh, good attention. 2,000? Oh, they don't pay that much. 1,000? Nope. I can't, I can't say I'm disappointed, because we already had so much money from the other guys. 500 now? 250? Come on, give me something here. Nope. Alright, well, just trading is fine. So yeah, now I got money. I can definitely improve my roads. And and then some. <laughs> this is this is a has been a really good turn for me. Oh Yep. Well definitely I'm doing that. Six thousand left. Should I improve all the farms everywhere? I think it might be worth doing. I'm not going to go for a merchant guild because it costs too much food. Although we have the spare food right now, there's no need to do it. Barren soil, no thanks. Move this to a rice exchange. Uh, Bungo, actually no, he's in his good money making province. And so is this place. Oh man, I didn't even think about this. This is a good money making province and I don't have any money making buildings here. This could be even better money making. Also, 28... Yeah, see, Tsukushi is good money. 3,000 right there. Um... <clears throat> but anyway, 2800. Yeah, I need to move this guy out. Which means he's not gonna make. Actually, if I can put him in here for now and then move him on to he's in next turn. Then. Oh, I didn't reach. Damn. 
That's fine. Well, yeah, we'll move him when he's in next turn. He'll make more money there than he will in, uh, in Satsuma. Um, right, yeah, it's, what do I want to upgrade, man? Military port. Terrace farming. I think I do want to upgrade all the farms everywhere. Yeah, basically, I just I spent all my money again right away. But it's on things that will make me more money in the future. So not there, but we'll do it here and here. And that's all the money gone. I could have made two Katana Samurai instead for this army here. But I think this army will be fine. Oh, there we go. They have one and a half arm. Well, one army. And uh, what's this? Four, eight, twelve, fifteen units. So they got f at least thirty-five units right there. I'm confident in this army. I don't know what they've got, but I'm confident that they that they can take this these two down. The question is, are they going to go down here or up there? Actually, if, even if they go down here, if I can take this and that in one turn. It won't matter because those army will most armies will most likely disappear. Uh, also, oh, those stupid ships stayed there, so I can't actually move there yet. That's too bad. Um, right. Oh man, we got more trade that we can do. Fuck, I thought it was only two. All right, so we can get some money out of these guys as well. Please speak honestly, and I will give oh. you good attention. I'm glad I checked this. <laughs> two thousand. Let's just. Do some bigger leaps. 4,000. Alright. 3,000. Nope. Two and a half. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna try and milk this a little bit. 2750. If not, I'll just go back to, to 2500. Okay, 2500 it is. Still a good deal. Very good deal, sir. Alright. And that means I can actually still make those two katanas. Or upgrade something else. Uh, military port. Not really bothered by it. it. Means I can make some more ships that I don't really need right now. So it's not a good investment. I can improve this farm but it's barren soil. So I'm not going to bother. Only for the food would I ever do that. I can improve this to a rice exchange. Which is not a very good money making province. So I don't really care. This I need to improve ship for next turn. But we'll keep this. Uh, we'll make this. Uh, no what was I going to. Oh yeah. Right, to summarize what I was going to do. Then again I'm making. No, it's going to be too long. I'll make these. Yep, alright. It says we're making 4100 bucks right next turn, but since we're going to lose this, uh, it's actually not going to be like that. It's really sad, actually, that I have to get rid of this, but there's no way, unless I made uh, Buddhist temples everywhere around here. But this is a really annoying province, actually, since it borders four other provinces. Actually, three, but still, that's really annoying. Um, right, there is... Nothing I can do right now. I'm gonna end the turn and end the episode as well. I have 1400 bucks left though. Is there nothing I can make with that? I guess. Well, I can make some units, but there's no need to. Um, Alright. Nothing I can make. Well, I mean, we don't have to spend it all. But no more trade, right? Nope. Alright, just to make sure. Okay. So let's see if they attack me or not. Oh man, the Oda is so scared. Looking at that. two armies right there, at least. And that's like right. That's on that, that one spot, and I, I'm sure they've got more than that as well. I'm just waiting for the Otomo to make their move. I don't mind if they attack me. It'll be a great battle to start off on next time. That's for sure. Takeda. Not looking, I mean, I haven't seen that many armies of them. Alright, here's the Otomo. With their army, and they're not gonna reach me. Alright, so that means I can get to Tsukushi this turn. Although they're probably in Tsukushi. Alright, that's uh, definitely a retreat right there. Oh, there's the way. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> well, I guess we lost this one ship. That's fine. At least he's keeping these guys busy. It means they can't get to my other navies. They're actually going the other way, which is great. Alright, so good thing is they... Well, actually, no, I'm not too happy about that they moved into Tsukushi because I can't... Actually, they didn't. But they might be behind it. But still, I'll... I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's pretty good, either way. 
We'll, um, we'll see what happens. All right, income went down. Obviously, trade disrupted with the Amako, the Hojo, and the Takeda. As I said, that was going to happen. Mounting unrest in Heizen. Um, that's fine. Yeah, fleet destroyed. Construction complete. And eager to serve. Right. So, uh, downside of this is this is actually not going to happen next time unless I do another turn. Because this is one of those things that doesn't happen um, in the like the save file didn't doesn't save this. I'm gonna enlist them either way because I I would think um, eventually I'm gonna have three armies and I like to have two generals in each army. I'm gonna have one son coming of age pretty soon, and I would need an extra general with him. Um, however, yeah, it doesn't save that. So yeah. This is actually unhappy. Well, that's actually barely not unhappy. If I move this guy in here, it may even be happy enough. Right, so I, I can't see them. They may not actually be in range of Takushi, so I may be able to take this. And if I can, I will not auto-resolve it. I will fight it myself. Um, which means I'll lose a few more men, but it also means the walls won't be hurt, and I can just take it as a stronghold. Um, and I can use the stronghold walls and arrow towers, etc. Uh, but yeah, next turn... Or next time I will do that. For now, I, it's I'm a bit sad that I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna get to keep that um, that general that I just got. Sadly, one right here, Hiriki in Suke, Suke Toki. Pretty cool name. But yeah, I, unless I do another turn, but I can't do another turn because I don't know what's gonna happen. I may have to fight shit. Then again, I guess I can do it quick. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll just do it quickly. I really want to keep that general, actually. So I'm going to start... No, I'm going to keep him here, because there's no need for him to go anywhere. I also start spawns with the extra armor, which is nice. Uh, so you're going to go towards Bungo. People in Bungo are just going to stay there. There's no need to move them anywhere. You are going to go into Heizen. Hopefully you can get there, because you may actually make them happy enough. Sadly, I still have to exempt them from taxes, so as much money as they are making the guy. 2230. 2731, but I have to actually exempt them, otherwise they're going to rebel, and I can't deal with a rebellion right now. Alright, so we're going to take this. Alright, they are in range. That is not worrisome. I can take that. 100% sure I can take that. However, am I going to... No, I'm not going to fight. I'm going to continue to siege. Alright, that's good then, because that means I can actually end this turn, and they'll attack me, and it'll save on them attacking me. There's another army behind them, though, so I'm pretty sure this is not everything that's going to happen. This is going to be another army following this up, and it's going to be two and a half armies against me, plus that extra two units from here, but that's not a big deal. Um, so we've got a little bit of money left. We want to make a... I may want to make a Buddhist temple here, but I don't think so. I think I'll make a sake, then make this a money-making province. I want to make this a harbor for sure. I'm just doing this turn as quickly as I can right now, obviously. Um, I I want to make shit here, right here. I definitely want a market. Market, stay you are. And here, yeah, there's already a market. I think I'm gonna make this a money-making province, uh, even though it's already, yeah, it's 100% Christianity. Uh, I can just shove my monk there. Actually, can I do that right now? Zero. No, one character, run from character. That's a bit sad. Shinto Buddhism is at least going up again, and the same, I assume, would be going on right here. This is still going down, though. Actually, they're going to rebel soon as well. Um, unless I make some shit units, which I probably will do. Christianity is still going up. Yeah, I guess we're still because of Chukushi, right? That makes sense. And same here because of Buzin, right? Okay. Um, so, I yeah, I'll just make a socket then, and have to, I'll just deal with that. I can also send a few units over to Higo as well, to um, as a precautionary matter. Um, I'm gonna have to leave the monk in there. Okay, that's all that sorted. We have 897 bucks left. Uh, the general's gonna stay here. He's gonna wait until the other son comes of age. Uh, I want to make some more ships. I'm making a medium bune. Let's make another medium bune right here as well. And I'm going to end the turn, and I'm probably going to get attacked, and I'm going to leave it right there. I just want to make sure I've got nothing else to do. Diplomacy, I can't trade. Nope, because we got rid of that thing. Although we, we are going to make a trade port uh, or a harbor, and then the trade port, and then we'll be able to trade again. Which we may even actually, if we can do that again with these guys, we'll be able to make a lot of money. But yeah, they're definitely coming. And this army is going to be extremely experienced. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but five-star general means an experienced army. 
Anyway, end turn, and they're gonna attack me most likely. And that is where we will leave it. And I'm happy I was able to keep my general because of that. Because I do want a third army at some point, even though I don't even have a complete second army yet. It's still gonna be good. They are attacking me. Yep, there you go. Alright, so... This army... I mean, it's got katanas. Similar to mine. They've got six. They have better bows. Um, but my uh, my Yari cavalry is going to make a big difference. They do have three more. Oh, and this is actually a bigger problem. I am on the defensive, though. So I am, uh, yeah, 100% sure I'll be able to beat this. Anyway, the game saved right there, so I'm going to end it. And... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for this uh, awesome battle that's gonna happen next time against the Atomo. So have a good day, bye bye.